hey guys what's up welcome to another rma fire tutorial and today i will show you how we can activate greens so i mean there's tons of different ways of doing it but let's chat something simple to start um i used to have to look at my notes every time i did this so let's make it easy for you guys so that this sticks with you so if we have a sphere um, and we want half of it to become active um, how do we go about doing that if we have it full with grains and this is super super useful for many different things I'll show you so if we have a sphere and we do grains pop oh vellum grains I forgot which grains we were talking about so we want to create points from volume what this has done is it basically just created particles grains are the same thing as particles but much smarter basically that is the gist of it so um i actually want to put a transform here so that we can position our sphere here and we can see it see the things drop so if we're once we create the the grains let's middle click and let's see the difference between grains and actual points is that it has is grains and a mass okay so those are the two things that we can go into controlling so let's treat this let's do a little bit of dinner actually let's not even do dinner uh let's just uh show all points and let's not displace let's not display spheres so there you will see that it's basically uh, just points <clears throat> now what I want to do is I'm gonna create another sphere and I'm just gonna position the sphere right here and I'm gonna color our grains black and our sphere we're gonna make this one red and then we're gonna transfer the red color to our greens and let's just do oops sorry we just want to transfer the cd and let's reduce the intensity so kind of like half of them right and let's just do a a vop and on our vop what we want to do is um actually we don't even need to go into vops let's create a wrangle and let's say that at cd dot r is equal to at mass. Oh, it might be back for at mass is equal at cd. Okay. So vector to float mass cannot be equal to just a CD well it can but it's better to just do it like this if we do it equal to CD that's a vector and a mass is a float so mass has one value and CD would have three values RGB so let's just say just equal to the R so that it's equal to um, the red let's see if we drop a vellum solver we come back here let's keep that force and let's enable the ground 
and let's hit play and uh, seems to be working so basically what we're doing here is that we're telling that the mass is equal to the cd so everything that is black has zero mass therefore it's not going to become active um so yeah this tip this tip has is something that is very useful because it will allow you to basically activate the parts that you want active on vellum simulations um and you can basically move this around to infect whatever part of your sphere you want infected and if we were to turn on the grains uh, spheres you will notice that it works just fine let's see if on the greens let's see what other parameters we can play with I have a, a more in-depth tutorial on on grains on my website and I'm currently working on another one that is a little bit more advanced so that we can go into like wet liquids wet um you know wet um sand and stuff like that i was just thinking if maybe we added like a little bit of wind so you will see that the wind is only going to affect the points that we made active which is super cool so you could basically just turn on this and you could use effects like this to kind of have sand being blown by the wind um something like that and we could even do like a little bit of pop force in here just kill let me just make this like a one see how how interesting that looks Alright guys, I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. And one thing that I do want to flag is that with this setup, you will not be able to animate the noise growing to make the particles activate over time um, with Vellum. You're going to need a special trick that I'm going to show you in the next tutorial. Um, thanks for watching and I'll be back with more.